In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create GIFs using the Hashlips Art Engine. This is the new feature of version 1.0.9. I'm excited for this video, so let's jump in. My name is Daniel, aka Hashlips, and welcome to the channel where I teach you how to code. In today's video, we are going to discuss the update to the version 1.0.9 Hashlips Art Engine. If you want to know more about the Hashlips Art Engine and how you can create thousands of images, mainly used in the NFT space, only based off of a few simple layers, then go ahead and go to my YouTube channel, go to the playlists and find this playlist Create 10,000 Generative NFTs. I will explain the process from the start on how to use this program. In this video, I'm only going to be discussing the GIF functionality that came with version 1.0.9. I hope you are excited for this video. Lastly, if you struggle with any of the code, go to hashlips.online, go and follow our social media and especially the Discord or Telegram group. There are devs that's more than willing to help out if you get stuck. Lastly, you will need node.js, so download that as a prerequisite as well as an IDE. I recommend Visual Studio Code because it's awesome to use. Now let's jump in and look at the updates. We're going to go back to the Hashlips Art Engine repo, click on releases and download version 1.0.9 source code over there. Extract the zip file and then go to Visual Studio Code, say file, open and find the place where you've extracted the Hashlips Art Engine. Here it is. Let's go and open the folder and let's dive in to the new update. For those of you who are new, usually what you do when you start this program up is you go to the terminal, say new terminal, type in npm install and let the program install all the dependencies that you'll need. You'll only be able to run this command after you have installed node.js. And now we're ready to rock. As usual, you will have this layers folder inside of the layers folder there are more folders and these are the different layers for instance the eye color the bottom lid the background the eyeball itself iris and by the sound of it i guess you can see that we are going to build out an eye well this is usually how this program works is we split up all of our images into these different layers we open the configuration file we specify the layers here in the order that we want them to render. We give it a grow edition size 2 value, which will be the edition size that you're going to create. And then lastly, once we've made sure that the spelling on these layers are exactly the same as here, and we have the order correct that we want it to be in, then we can go down in the terminal and run npm run generate like so. You can now see that five images was created. We can create thousands, but for this example, I only created five. You will find the images created underneath the new build folder that was created as well. Then you can see in images, there are the eyeballs. How cool is that? Each image also have its own JSON file that carries the metadata and information regarding how it was created. With this information, you can go and build out NFTs. This program is also not limited to only build Ethereum metadata. We can also go back to the config file and change this to Sol for Solana, rebuild the program down here by running npm run generate, and then we'll generate Solana-based NFT data. But that being said, Let's dive into the update, which is the GIFs. How do we create GIF images using the Hashlips Art Engine? To generate your GIFs, all you need to do is go to the config.js file, scroll down so you'll find the section GIF, and then where it says export, turn that to true. Once you do that and you run the program again, you will see that it generates the images but something interesting is happening. It's also generating a new folder in the builds folder called GIFs. And in there, you will find the generative 
artworks. What does this mean? Well, this engine creates how your image was created step by step, layer by layer, and puts it in a GIF. That can be used very creatively for some occasions. But I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. What's cool about this is that the program will still export your images as well as the JSON files. Now it's up to you to decide how you're going to use this and let me know in the comments if you're going to enjoy this feature. We will improve it as time goes on, but this is a very basic implementation and I want to put it out there so that experimentation can start happening. What's also cool and what you can change is if you go back to the config.js file, you can see that you get the option to play around with the repeat, the quality and the delay. If we make the delay 50 and we save and we generate, you'll see that the images are very fast. It's not really <laughs> ideal for the eyeballs. It almost looks like it's blinking. But let me click off it because it is quite um, irritating. But anyway, <laughs> that's how you can play around with it. If you turn the delay obviously um, higher, it's going to generate much slower. So that's kind of your frame rate to play around with. Now, if I click on the GIF, you can see that it's very slow, very calming and kind of nice. The other options that you get to set for now is the quality and the repeat. Obviously, quality speaks for itself. You can play around with the quality and see how the discolorations and the layers form on top of the GIF. A GIF doesn't have a lot of color range and that's why you get sometimes layers when you work with gradients. So that's why you can tweak the quality with this one. The repeat, if you put this to minus one and you generate, your GIF will render, but it will render only once. So if I click on my GIF, I can see it renders but it won't repeat. If you want your GIFs to repeat, all you need to do is leave it at zero. If you want it to repeat a few times, you can put it five or two or three, whatever the case might be. But usually a GIF loops and that's why by default it's left to zero. And there you go guys. I really hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, let me know in the comments, like this video and subscribe if you haven't. I'll be updating this software every week, so stay tuned. Cheers for now.